Motherfucker, all right. There's the girl boss mic. Good morning, I'm the girl boss. We'll start the show in a couple minutes if you're looking to learn how to grow cannabis. Talk about cannabis. Cannabis related stuff. That's what I do. I'm the girl boss. Good morning. I see I got a bunch of you listening already. Everybody smoke a bowl. The show will start in a couple minutes. I'm not doing anything anyway. Here in my hydro store. That's where Alfie's he has got a little chew toy going on. So he'll be busy and then he'll probably pass out. I got some deals on some kind LEDs yesterday. Some K1000s. Some K750s. I even got a K300 deal we'll go over later in the show. For now, I'm just going to get high for a minute. We'll start the show in a couple of minutes. Enough with the introduction. I'm just sitting here getting high. 
Might as well sit here and get high with you. No point in waiting three more minutes for a show to start. All right, my mic's on, the video's on. Let me say good morning. I got great Nate and Cooper Dermastat. No, Demarest. Demarest, I always appreciate the pictures that you send me. I know I haven't been getting on them like I'm supposed to because I'm showing the progress because you're doing a really good job. But uh, between the show and everything, listen, the store and my life are really smoothing out now. So pretty soon, I'll have a different theme song for the opening of the show. I'll have some commercials so when I go potty, I don't just leave you doing nothing. <laughs> We got a little bit of information to go over, like a couple things before we start the show. But if you have questions, the number is 84 Grow Boss. I believe the line is up and running and open at the moment. So you can call the show. It's a two hour show Sunday. Clones to trichomes. Always funny. Oh, you know what? I think let's uh, battery down. Oh, yeah, totally. And those are new batteries. And like literally the computer is right here. And the wireless Logitech is plugged in right here, and I'm still having trouble connecting. Steven Van Ekeren. Grow Boss Demarest. I always appreciate those pictures, Thomas. Um, the Swizzler Grow Boss helped me double my yield. Thanks, boss. Blue Dreaming in the AM. I'm growing outside in Florida. My plants are starting to flower. Do they need the full 10 weeks for the flowering process? They are amnesia. Listen, I don't know if it needs full 10 weeks for the flowering process. You could grow the same, two growers could grow the same strain and the bud won't look the same. In fact, when I came back from the show in uh, Oregon last week, somebody was telling me that there is a, a strain competition where they gave the same cut to 20 great growers to grow and the buds didn't come out the same. 812, you got a question. Good morning. Yeah. Yes, good morning, sir. What can I do for you? I got a, a four by three, eight foot tall room, basically. Um, what would be a good size light to use in that if I do what they call what the, the sea of green, where you only fetch for a, what, a, about a week and then go straight into flower? Well, a four by three is more of a dungeon than a room, right? It's more of like a confinement. Right. Yeah, it's not very big. So in a four by three, no. the most light you're going to be able to use is like one of these four foot eight bulb T5s. <clears throat> you don't have a veg okay. area. You don't have a separate veg area from flower. So you're going to have to veg and flower in the same area. That is an excellent situation to set you up for a sea of green. Are you somewhere where you can buy clones? Yes. Okay. Then the best thing you could do is just go buy like 20 clones, put them all in one gallon buckets, veg them for one week, and then start flowering. Okay. All right. I, so I got 30 right now. I didn't know if that would be too many for that small of an area. Oh, I just pick a number like 20. It could be 30. The thing oh. is, you've got a four. I got I'll, 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 the thing is, I'll show you. You got a four by three area. So if you're doing a sea of green, you're gonna have one in e one plant in each pot like this. Or you'll get something big and you'll plant them like rice right, right in a row, like rows of corn or something. And then you just start flowering them because you're gonna veg them for a week. You will not pinch the top. You'll strip the bottom and you'll let them flower. And if they do branch out, you'll cut the branches off or pinch the branches off because each bud should look like one cola. Each plant should just be one cola. There's no room to have two. Now, can you fit 30? Yeah, maybe. I mean, yeah, maybe you could fit 30. On, you're still only going to get a half a pound, maybe 10 ounces from a 400 watt light. But you can put as many plants as you want underneath this light. It's the yield doesn't change because yield's based on light. <clears throat> so I picked 20, you got 30, could it be 24? There's nine numbers between 20 and 30. It could be either one of us. Um, you don't have to buy the more expensive square pots because if you think about it, everybody always, oh, the square pot, you get more, 
you get more media. And I suppose that's true. You would get like, you know, if you squared this up, you would get, if you squared this pot up, you know what I mean? Like you would get this corner, like this corner, like right here, you would be able to fill up this space right here times four, one corner, two corner, three, four. But it's not gonna matter to you that much. So, I mean, you're pretty close. If you can get a sea of green going, I think you're gonna win, all right? All righty, thank you so much. I appreciate the phone call, thank you. All right, so we're just getting started. The show, well, it's never really organized. I just sort of show up and start doing the show. However, <clears throat> I would like to start with um, this. I brought it up yesterday. I'm going to post up the link right now. This is Scott Donation, suggested 20. Now, I've got Paul XYZ from, I think it's Paul from yesterday. Um, here is the, here's, here's the, let me get you the link. I thought I had the link. Here is, uh, nope. Let me grab the link for this. Here is, so this is the guy from, uh, this is the guy from Nectar of the Gods. And it's an up and coming, oh, no way. It's an up and coming brand. I've been hearing a lot about it lately. This is Scott. So here's the deal. I donated a hundred dollars to this and then yesterday on the show, I told you I'll match everybody up to you know, 20. The suggested amount's 20 bucks. So I'll match everybody. I got two people yesterday that donated 20 bucks each. I got, uh, I got, uh, let's see, who was it? I got Paul, which I totally appreciate 20, the 20 buck donation. And I got Mr. Bezel, Easel. So here's a couple 20s. I told you guys I would match your donations. I don't care if you do five, 10 or 20. The problem that we run into is this. You guys say you want the community. You like that cannabis community is something separate than everything else, right? You like the cannabis community. So I don't charge for my videos. I don't charge you for my videos. Um, I don't, you know what I mean? I don't commercial my videos. I don't, I sell books. Don't sell the, don't sell anything else but my books. I never ask you guys for anything. So you guys are always looking for something to do. Hey, grow boss. How can I say thank you? Hey, grow boss. I got double my crop. Um, you know, you got double your crop. I want you to donate 40 bucks and I'll match you. So I'm looking for five $20 donations total. I'll match it for a hundred. That'll get me in for 300 total between me, you, between me and you, you know what I mean? I'll get in at 300 bucks. I'll help this guy out as part of the community. It's Nectar of the Gods guy. He was out working on his farm when he got hurt. 989, what can I do for you? Good morning. 989. 989. You just hung up, but you will call me back and I will smoke cannabis in between now and then. So, this is, I mean, like, I'm not really looking to do, uh, I'm not really looking to uh, show you. Okay, so this is Scott. I'm really not looking to show you his damage. What I'm really looking to tell you is that this is the guy from. Uh, Nectar of the Gods. He's part of the community. You guys donate. Denali, send me that receipt and I will match your donation because that gives me three out of the five I was looking for. And I'm going to do this all day long. So, I mean, you just, I mean, you could send in 10 bucks and I'll match you. You could send in a $5 Grow Boss, thank you, and I'll match you five bucks too. Um, Brad Blizzard, if you're using Fogaponics, the question is always, why? What do you think you're going to get out of fog upon, at Fogaponics <clears throat> that you're not going to get, you know, something less complicated that doesn't heat the water? Because that's really what we're talking about, isn't it? All right, let's get off, Scott. Let's, uh, let's go back to the grill boss. Listen, it's GoFundMe. I'm asking for 20 bucks. I'm matching everything. Good morning. You're on with the grill boss. Hey, what's going on, man? It's Audi over here in Texas. How you doing? Hey, Texas. Good morning. Yeah, man. I had talked to you a while about 
about I have an eight foot by four foot grub and I had two thousand watt LEDs and you were telling me, man, you're burning your plants. No, what I said was, man, that's a lot of fucking light. Because you didn't tell me how tall the ceiling was. And if your ceiling is four by eight by fourteen feet and you put the light ten feet away, it won't burn your plants. What I'm suggesting is is in a four by eight space with an average seven foot ceiling one foot for the light, one foot for the bucket, that leaves you five feet. And that's not even growing the plant. If you grow a three foot plant, your LEDs are two feet away. Also, the K5s are dimmable. So there are a lot of conditions that you just washed across without any acknowledgement there and then repeated something I said. So tell me how it turned out. What are we looking at? Okay, so what I did was I bought uh... 600 watt LEDs and like I told you they were on a track system and my yield got a little better uh, Actually, it's kind of funny because people are telling me that my stuff is better than some of the people that That I was buying from for example, and uh, so I'm real impressed with that But let me tell you what the only issue I, I, I have I still need to master my didn't my density You know, they're not my colors aren't are, aren't get aren't as big as I've seen people on your show and stuff. And I was just wanting to see if there was a couple more tips that you might be able to give me just so that my, I, I, there's, there's a lot of red hairs on my buds. I, I'm growing northern lights. Uh, the, I, the buds just aren't big enough. And I'm just wanting to know if there's a couple tips you could throw at me where I could make my buds a little bigger. I did put more fans in the room. I have three fans going right now. So, I think that's going to help also. I was watering three times a week. I stopped and started just watering twice. But I'm doing like a feeding and then I'm doing like a nutrient. And I'm wondering how's that? I mean, if there's any tips that you can throw at me. Okay, before I give you some tips, I would just like to point out that when you call me with questions about yield, I already, and, and excited about your yield, I already know that you're doing your nutrients and your watering correctly. Because you're looking for, <clears throat> you guys ask me if spectrum matters or if this matters or that matters. You see what I mean? Like you're still fine tuning your light. You don't need all the other products. You're still looking for the last couple things. So what's the weight that you're getting? What's the total weight that you're getting from the space? Okay, my, my last harvest, uh... I think I had 12 plants in an 8 foot by 4 foot tent. They were probably, I'm going to say, 4 foot tall. And I probably yielded 7 ounces. You don't have to worry about density. It doesn't matter if you got 7 ounces. Wait, wait, wait. Are you telling me you got 7 ounces per light? 7 ounces in toto or 7 ounces per plant? No, I got seven ounces of 12 plants. Okay, so you have, you're you not looking for density, my friend. You don't have a density problem. You have a yield problem because you should be at 32 ounces, which is roughly four and a half times the amount that you have. So I would like you, to, sir, to take a step back, and I would like you to let go of density, and I would like you to find out where the other... 25 ounces are so the questions that i have are you're growing in a four by eight you said your plants were four feet tall one of the problems that people run into is sometimes your plants are this tall but your legs are this tall and you only have this much canopy <clears throat> so the question starts with how long was your veg okay i have a eight by four i have an eight by four foot ten for my flower and I have a four by four tent for my beds. Okay. What lights in four by four? Okay. I have a 600 LED and a 300 LED. So I just want to be clear that you have, wait, wait, I'm going to, I want to draw this out. So, so let me pull this up. I want to draw this out so you can see what I'm suggesting is happening because there's a fundamental problem here is you're in fourth in veg and you're shifting into third 
in flower. So, um, I have, let me. <clears throat> okay. So let me tell you what I just did. I just took my ones that were in veg and they were, they seemed like they were smaller than my last ones. They were only maybe going from, going from veg straight into my flower tent. They were probably only like maybe three feet tall. I flushed them. I stuck them in the flower tent. And, and I mean, they look like they're in their second week of flower. So the but you know, the little flowers are just starting to grow on them. They look good. There's no purple veins. They're nice and green. But let me tell you where I think I'm having an issue. Now, now my clones, I think I cloned them too late because where I'm at right now is I took my clones. I've only got 11 out of probably 20 uh uh, clones that I put in there, only 11 of them made it. Yes, and right that, now they are in red solo cups. Yeah, but that would be, if it, you had, it, sorry, go on. Well, okay, so I got 11 clones right now that are in the red solo cups. They're probably in their, maybe getting ready to be in their second week of being in the red solo cups. But I don't see, and I only have a 300, I only turned the 300 LED on on those because I didn't want to put too much light on them. And they're probably four foot away from the light right now on a 300 watt LED. But they don't seem like they're growing like I have had in the past where, you know, in two weeks time, I mean, they've already grown another foot almost, you know, like they're ready to get taken out of it. I take them out of the red solo cups and then I put them into a one gallon uh, pot. Okay. Um, but it doesn't look like my clones, my, my starter plants right now. Like, I, I feel like I'm behind. Like, I feel like right now that they should already, since I'm two weeks into flower, I feel like my veg should already really be in the one gallon pots and they should already be two foot tall, but they're not. Okay. And I'm a beginner grower down here in Clean Texas. Remember I talked to you, I was a car salesman. I had to hang up two times with you. Oh, yeah, I remember. <clears throat> okay. But I'm trying, brother. Yeah. I'm trying, man. I'm trying to bring the Colorado, California love to Texas, man. Help me out. <laughs> I mean, we don't even have gummy beers down here, man. <laughs> but you are the only guy that I listen to. I watch a lot of YouTube videos. But, I mean, everybody that is really doing good listens to you, man. So whatever you tell me to do, I'm going to do it. I just spent $329 on a uh, 700 watt uh, LED, and then, like I said, it's on a track system, but it seemed like it covered a four foot area. That's why I bought this one, but it's got the three different spectrums, and I don't even understand how to use that. It's got three buttons for three different color lights, and it says that you can go from veg all the way to flower in it, but I only really need it for flower. But I'm doing 12 and 12 on my lights. Uh, my temperatures are really good, probably between 75 and 70 degrees in the in the flower tent. Uh, I got three fans going. My uh, my humidity stays about anywhere between 45 and 50. But I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> And it's coming from, uh, um, hey, Semet, the mic was off, but I wasn't talking. Thanks. And, oh, yes. Okay. So, a couple of things. One, um, Petite, I got your email. That's the third $20 donation for Scott. Um, I'll take care of all of that tonight, um, posting up what I owe on my end. So, I wanted to thank Petite Princess. Um, <clears throat> okay. So, <laughs> Cy Fribus, dude. <laughs> Dude, Cy Fribus. <clears throat> okay, car salesman guy, I promise I'm on the call with you. But Cy, that was really fucking funny on the on the live chat. And the people that came in that were trading me, oh my keyboard's working now. The people that came in that traded me this thousand this K one the K one thousand right here, a couple of them yesterday, they said the same thing. They're like, Grow boss, 
so afraid to come talk to you because you're going to chew into us. And I was like, listen, it's tough to chew into people at the store because because it's, you know, they're at the store. Yo, the guy yesterday outside the store, the lurker, it turns out he came in from Bolivia. No, Buenos Aires, Boston, Boca Raton. He came in from uh, Buenos Aires. No, he came in from Bah somewhere. Dude, he flew into the United States to come and see me because he was so tired of all of his failures. And when I looked at his garden, uh, he was growing with LEDs. Listen, LEDs are brutal and they're expensive. And I know you think you save money on heat and electricity to power them. Uh, but the reality is in the whole thing and all of that shit that you just told me, car salesman guy, I just want to point out yeah. what you killed him with was too much light. Now, you started walking. Yeah, that's what you told me last time. Oh, shit. So you stayed with the LEDs. You bought some more. And then I told you the same thing again. Listen, first I'd like to say we're both consistent. You, sir, are consistent on your end. And I am consistent on what I am. Bulgaria? No, Bolivia. No, it wasn't Bolivia. Bah, fuck. Not Brazil. Not Bulgaria. <laughs> okay, so everyone's typing in there. Um... Buenos, no, bah, it wasn't Mexican, it was like Puerto Rico, not Puerto Rico, jeez, super nice guy, bought me lunch, took me out to sushi, I put a sign on my door yesterday for 1220, I said sushi emergency, be back at one, and then people were calling me, <laughs> that's awesome, saying, yeah, yeah, totally, I just left the fucking store, I didn't tell the lone wolf that I just put a sign on the <laughs> store, and uh, and I just abandoned my post for 40 minutes. Wolf down. Wolf but down. But that's how down. cool you are, dude. You're that cool of a dude, man. You care. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yes. Oh, petite princess, thank you for the pictures. I'll show up the right pictures in a moment. I got, oh, I got a customer, but you're an hour early. You, it's 920. I'm not even open during the week at 10. What are you doing? Wait, hang on, I got <laughs> I got I got someone at my door. What are you doing? Ah, it's 920. It's Sunday. What the fuck is he doing? <laughs> anyway, okay. So, he needs, he so, needs some help, dude. <laughs> oh yeah, right. Okay. He's got he, he's got a weed emergency, man. Help him out. <laughs> oh, he's gonna have to he's gonna have to go to uh, Walmart and buy himself some uh, miracle grub. Okay, not Burma. <laughs> It's not Burma, it's not Boca Raton, it's not, bah. Anyway, make that sale quick so we can watch. I know, dude, I totally wanted to open the door, let him in, set this up on, uh, on like, Stocam, and, <laughs> and uh, let you guys watch. Can you guys hear me answer the phone? You know, the people that come in my store, they won't let me broadcast live. They'd go fucking nuts if I tried to do this store live, most of them. Otherwise, I would totally do this store live. In fact, we're going to talk about one of the trades I did for the LEDs yesterday. For these, see that K1000? I bought two of them yesterday on a trade for a bunch of stuff, and we'll go over that. But the guy comes in from Brazil. Not Brazil. Damn it, I thought if I just said it, it would come out of my mouth. Um, Peru. No, because it began with a B. Okay, we'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it. There are so many uh, people. Okay, so... The problem that you're having here is, uh, is, is I'm telling you, it's, it's one of too much light. I mean, you've got 12 plants. That's at seven ounces. That's like 0.7 ounce per plant. That's awful. What? Well, with it, with this new 700 that I bought work. Well, it's seven, it's seven, it's 700, one. uh, 700 watts. One, you're growing with LEDs. LEDs have the second highest probability of failure they're tied with hydro if you do either hydro or leds you have the second highest probability of failure so you're under leds the next thing is i put up this picture bolivia bolivia i, I don't know. bolivia that's I don't know it. If it was bolivia I, it wasn't barcelona wait i don't, I don't. <laughs> dude um okay he was awesome i uh, had a good time okay so he was setting up a good system all right let me so here's what I want to show you, boom. What you're telling me 
is that you have a four by four with 900 watts and this is a big deal you have a four by eight and i have the picture up for you to look at but you have a four by eight that would technically have 600 watts on each side and 600 watts is what i tell you belongs in a four by four over here you have 900 watts i, I don't i mean just imagine no, no, I, what, what sorry you said okay so i i just bought a 700 watt and it's going to be on a track system it's going to go down to each end it's set for 20 seconds for 12 hours a day i mean and it's probably about two feet from the plant will that work no no, I have no. to go to a six. How are you going to put a light two feet from the plant? I, I mean, I mean everything. Okay, new grow boss. New well, I just run out. I run in my tent. My tent is only uh, six foot six, Listen, and by the I time I put my track wait, wait, system wait, wait, at the very wait, top, wait, wait, you're focusing on the wrong problem here. Nobody, not me, nor the plants, cares about your problems. I just want to be clear that if right. you want to grow cannabis, you have to do what the plant wants, not what the fuck the tent wants. Right? Right. Right. So I, I, yeah, I beg right. of you, I beg of everybody listening, I beg of all of you, I, I don't, don't tell me what you want. Don't tell me about your problems because frankly, that's not what I'm here for. What I'm here for is to tell you how the cannabis grows. And you can't just from the math of it, and I'm going to, let me, I'm gonna draw a picture here that you can follow along. Just from the math of it, if you're, let's say on a four by eight, let's do this sideways. So let's say you're on a four by eight table. You have, you have some plants on a four by eight table. This is from end to end. Let's just say that this here from end to end is a, uh, is we're looking at the cross section. Sorry, it takes a minute to draw the picture, but we're looking at a cross section view. I'm with table. you. So this is four feet wide. We're looking this way. All I'm suggesting is that if you want the light, if you want your sad, inappropriate little, L, you know, LED. If you want your sad little LED light going down the middle if you want this light to reach the edges how are you gonna i mean that's look at the angle i'm putting up how are you gonna reach the edges if your light is just this little tiny bit away i mean i don't understand that's not even realistic for an hps i mean from my well let me opinion, explain this one is a double light it's a double light the stand is, on it is 17 inches by 14 and a half inches that so dude, what it is it's one dude, of those lights dude, that has a light on each end of the dude, stands in the middle of it absolutely not you've got a 48 inch wide table you have a 48 inch wide table i don't understand how okay. you think 17 inches is super wide if we put this in terms of dick if you showed, okay, so what do we have? So you got 17, I'm saying 48. If we cut that six, 15, that would be if you showed up to a dick party with a six inch dick and everybody on both sides of you pulled out a 16, 16 inch dick. All I'm saying is you look in the store and you look at those you look at the supersized hoods that I sell. Here, you know what? I mean, I'm, I'll, I'll give you the perspective. This. There you go. Look at that. That is a four bulb, two foot, 100 watt light that you're looking at. And it is roughly the same size as a K1000. I mean, there is a 100 watt light that is the same size as a K1000. A K1000, a 1000 right. watt light requires a five by five space, two feet deep. That's a 100 watt light. Okay. 
And that 100 watt light should be 24 inches over your plant. What I'm trying to suggest is I don't understand how you think you're going to get an LED that I'm suggesting requires that should be something like four or five feet away minimum right through here. I, I don't understand how you're getting 24 inches. I mean, I understand that you want this to be about you and you have this space, but frankly, the plants and I don't care about you. We don't care about you right. the same way you don't care about the plant. You obviously don't care about the plant because you're killing the shit out of it, not getting the yield you want. And then when I offer you something, your, your big move is to tell me what you want. And this is all growers. This is not you. I don't, in, any, in no way does this reflect upon right. you. Um, this is a guy thing. Why does the second line in my book say girls are better growers? Because, well, girls are empathetic and guys are not. I mean, what, what the fuck? I mean, right. this is, I, what, this is, I, this is, I, I'm going to put the light 24 inches away. And the worst part about it, the worst part about it, the worst part about the whole thing is that if you read the mm -hmm. vendor websites, they tell you to do it. Those motherfuckers tell you to put your light 24 inches away, dirty fucking bastards. You know why? Do you know why? Yeah, like when they, when they sell the LEDs, they actually show you that yeah. they do it from a 24-inch yeah. gap to show you the spectrum of the light. No, they do it from a 24-inch gap. It's not going to do a spectrum. But I will tell you why every vendor Fs you in the A, just like almost, almost every employee at a hydro store. And I'll tell you why. Because if you knew how to grow, you would be unhirable at a hydro store for several reasons. One, you can't work at a hydro store and look at people and tell them, oh, this is what I do. You can say that, but after you tell about 100 people that you're growing dope, it suddenly occurs to you that you've told 100 people you're growing dope. Someone's going to sit outside the store and follow you home. <laughs> so first off, <laughs> right? you can't tell people you're growing. You have to tell them, this is what I used to do. Also, if you grow and work at a hydro store, the hydro store will be hot. Now, are things going more legal today? Yeah, but most states are still illegal. So you can't be hot. You don't want to be hot. If people are saying, oh, this is how I grow, the owner's going to get pissed. Then forget all that. If you hire a grower, they disappear for two weeks every other month when they harvest. You can't hire a grower. All of a sudden, they got money and dope. They're not coming to work. If they were going to work, they wouldn't be growing. Right. So the very act of being the kind of person that does what we do, run your own business, get high in the back of my hydro store, get paid to do it. If you're this type of person, you're going to be the type of person that does whatever the fuck you want, whenever the fuck you want it. That's why I hate growing. Now. Right. So we've got the grow that... boss. Tell me, tell me what, tell me what lights to use. And damn it, does I'll send the ones I, I just bought back. What light can I problem. use on a listen, track system? Listen, I think you're missing. I think you're missing the point. Telling you which light is not the problem because apparently we had a phone call where you paid me to tell you which light, and you still bought the wrong lights, and you still put them too close, like I told you last time. So telling you something doesn't work. I tried that one. I, I, you you paid me to do it on a phone call. So on a console yeah. call. So all I'm saying is you paid me to do it, and then you didn't do it. And I'll tell you the problem that most growers have that like me and my style, and they read the book. I tell you three things. Too much light, too much water, too many nutrients. But you guys yeah. never pick up on all three. You choose whichever ones are convenient for you. And if you want to water more, then fuck it, you're going to water more. It doesn't matter what I said. So you guys always pick and choose. You never do all three like I tell you. because And, and I understand why. Because my dumb ass is the only one telling you the things that I say. I totally get that. And then you watch pretty much all the other videos. Well, it's really the money. Like, I, I mean, I'm going to have to go buy a new tent now because for me to run my track system, I can't get my lights high enough on the tent that I have. So the only thing I can do is either try to convert my, that whole bedroom into a grow room. And I could do that. I just thought that I could control 
the environment better in a, in a grow tent. I mean, I could take the grow tent down and turn the whole bedroom into a, a, a grow room if, if I can do that. But I, I don't know how I'm going to control, like, the, uh, the humidity in such a big room, you know, stuff like that. So, Listen, I, I mean, I if you tell me, I, I really want to do this. So, if you that. tell me to get rid of the grow tent, buy a bigger that, grow tent, I'll do it. But, again, you've jumped to a conclusion where I haven't, you haven't even identified the problem, and you're already getting rid of the tent. What is the true nature? Well, you told me. You, wait, 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 wait. And just answer you the said question. the, the, the lights were too low. Sorry. Answer the question. No, I didn't tell you they were too low. I yeah. said they were too close to the plant because I don't know how high they are. Listen, listen, listen. What is the true problem that exists as I've identified it? What is the true problem? From what you're telling me, the true problem is that, well, first of all, I had 1,000-watt LEDs. You told me that 2,000 watts in an 8x4 was way too powerful. Stop. So too much light. I got, I, told a, you, I got the 700. I told you there was too much light. Go ahead. And too, small, too, too much light, too small a space. That was what I identified to you. Right. Now, I've also right. showed you in videos like this. Um, I've also showed you in videos like this with the one, two, three light rotation. I mean, the uh, trellising, how, how I shorten the plants. I mean, I'm light going in a five foot tall And that's tent. because it's easier. I'm showing you in this video that you can trellis. That's this video. Hang on a sec. That's this video. Let me post it up. Uh, what I'm saying is, <laughs> what, what I'm saying is like, all the skills are necessary. All the skills exist for you to grow in the tent. The problem is not the tent. The problem is not the light. The problem is not the space. The problem is your interpretation of these things. So what I would like to suggest right. is <clears throat> that your 600 watt LED on a light mover is probably appropriate for a 4x5 space in your tent. I would suggest that if you take a plant like this and you trellis it down into this, that suddenly you'll have two extra, ah, press the wrong button, that suddenly you'll have four feet of space because you have to ask yourself, how are people growing with thousand watt lights and tents? Because people do it all the time. So the solution is not to change the tent. The solution is not to change the light. The solution is not necessarily to do any of these things. The solution is to determine how much yield do you really want, dude? Do you want an ounce a week, two ounces a week, three ounces a week? How much yield do you want? Well, my, well, my rotation is I get a yield every 60 days because of I have only two tents. I don't have the third tent where I could, you know, harvest every month. So I harvest every 60 days. But, I mean, I already know through your videos, you said that normally on a 1,000-watt a LED or a 1,000-watt light, you should produce a pound and a half. And then you was, t you know, going down and down and down. I mean, I, I would like to at least get a half a pound per plant or a okay, quarter wait, pound. Stop, I mean, stop, I'd, stop, be, happy, stop, I'd stop, be happy with a quarter stop, stop. pound per plant. Stop, stop. I don't care how much okay. meat per plant. I, I, listen, here's the problem that you're going to have forever in this growing <clears throat> this is not mm -hmm. this is not an equipment problem sir this is an interpretation problem where i ask you a very pointed question and then eventually i have to stop you from talking because you don't answer the question and you go off on a tangent so i ask you a very i ask you a very simple question and that is how much yield do you want and what you told me when i stopped you was a half a pound of plant what the fuck does that mean you got 12 plants. You can't get 12 half pounds from those in that space with that light. What, I, what, I'm trying to, what I'm trying to focus you down on, sorry, what I'm trying to do, sir, is focus you on specifically the questions that I'm asking. Because if you can't answer my question, then frankly, at the end of this call, you're going to hang up, you're going to have an errant thought, and you're going to disappear into whatever it was you were thinking about before. You have to understand that this is a five month process. I've already spoken to you about the light and you let it go and chose not to listen. 
And then I, I'm asking you questions right now and no disrespect, love you to death. Love that you called, super nice guy. But the true nature of this problem between us is one of communication. You keep trying to solve problems that don't exist because we haven't defined the problem yet. And instead of working the problem, you keep trying to buy more equipment. Come to my store and buy all my equipment. But the problem is, what I asked you was, how much yield do you want? Now, what you told me was you can't do a three light rotation because you have one four by eight, and it's not true. You have two lights. You could start them one month apart. So that's inaccurate. The information that you have about the lights is inaccurate. The information that I provided you was accurate, but we keep deviating from that path. And I don't mean to beat you up, but in order to get you to the solution, you have to use specific words. Because if you don't use specific words, I mean, they put 30 miles on, on a gallon on the side of a car. They don't use your tires. They drive them in a vacuum. They don't, they use super fuel. It's downhill. They get sued because the mileage doesn't match in the real world. My Honda said 31. I could never, ever get past 26. Son of a bitch, I love that 2000 right. Civic. All I'm saying is, what I need <laughs> from you is a more specific, concise, focused understanding. Because when we end this call, you're going to need to be able to repeat what I say. So, in a 4x8 tent, you can run two 600s or one 1000 on a light mover. You can't get really get more than one pound dry per side, but then a 600s a pound. So if you have two 600s, you should be getting two pounds every 60 days or a pound every 30 days. You'll also need a 600 watt in bench. So the equipment is correct. So the question is, okay. what's, what's wrong in veg? Now you had mentioned earlier that you had decreased your waterings and things looked better. So I don't have any pictures from you. So what I would like to make the observation is I can't do anything for the round that just happened because everything has to go correct for this to be correct. So the first thing that you would have to do is in the right. next round, not water as much. Then when you went into flour, you're growing in a media. What are you growing in a bucket, right? Well, they're the, uh, the cloth, uh, ones that everybody's using on youtube it's it's the big cloth uh containers okay so so they can breathe okay <laughs> that is so far away from the problem here okay you have them in veg you have these cloth pots you've got the lights going but the problem is again leds are very small and if you take an enormous amount of light and you put it in a very small space but this much light I'm sorry, are your buckets are on the floor, right? Yeah, they're just sitting on the floor. Okay. In the grow tent, yeah. If you have 12 plants, you have 12 plants in veg, and they are two feet from the light? And let me ask this, is your light all the way? No, 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 not in veg, not in veg. In veg, they are probably four feet from the light, in veg. And, and I'm only running a 300-watt LED. I have a 600 in there, too. But because they're only in the red solar cup, they're only maybe close to about a foot tall. And that's also including the cup. So they're only about a foot tall. Um, they're about four foot from the light. So and it's just a 300-watt LED. So you're telling me that they go from veg at four feet from the light. When you go into flower... How do they get so? How do they get two feet from the light? Do they get two feet taller? Oh yeah, like right now they're only like I said. Right now they're probably not even a foot tall, but they're also just beginning in veg. So in another month they're probably going to be two foot tall. So that means they'll be another foot closer to the light. So at that point they'd be three feet from the light because my light is all the way up to as far as I can make it go up. Okay. Are you and I can't get it any higher. Are you trellising the plants? No, I just got those little tomato things, the little metal okay. tomato things that, that they have little round rings and they get bigger as they go up Okay. for like tomatoes. I got you. I know exactly what it is. I'm going to post up a video uh, right now for you that, that literally is like, I, I didn't think about it from that perspective. However... Um, this video and I do top I do top my plants 
Let me, I'm looking for this one. Yeah, I make so many videos. I don't even know what they're called anymore. Oh, here we go. Um, okay, this video, 410, I'll get back to you in a minute. Call me back in a couple minutes. This is, this video is Marijuana Garden Rescue. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I've, somebody, I've probably hey, watched hey, most of your listen, uh, videos. Somebody asked me to ask you to uh, to uh, send me some pictures of your plants, and I probably should have did that. Um, <laughs> so if you want to email me some pictures, I will... I will, uh, fuck. <laughs> can you, can you text me your email? Cause I don't have a pen right here, but if you text me your email address, I'll go, I'll go in my room right now and take some pictures of it. Okay. It's, I mean, my lights are out right now. Dot, it's the grow boss at yahoo.com. It may not show up on your phone, oh, let me get it. but it's the grow boss, dude, the grow boss at yahoo. I'm getting a pen right now, brother. Let me get this. Okay, so it's not. So it's a memory thing, not an interpretation thing. Motherfucker. Uh, okay, give me that uh, email. The Grow Boss. You know, like my name, The Grow Boss? Dot. At Yahoo. Yeah, at The Yahoo. Grow Boss. The Grow Boss at Yahoo.com. The Grow Boss at Yahoo.com. Listen, just watch the video in 30 seconds. It will say The Grow Boss at Yahoo.com. Okay. Yeah, I got it. What I'm doing right now is I'm actually going to walk into my uh, room here. I'm going to take these pictures. I'm here in here right now. So let me open up my tent. Did I just hear it creak? Okay, oh, so the it was a zipper. Okay. Okay. Um, so these, so the first pictures that I'm sending you, these are going to be my uh, my ones in veg. These are only probably a week and a half old to going into slow cups. Okay, and so this, take a picture. These here are wait, under wait, 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 a. Let's do this. Let's do this because because my head's spinning after all this. Take pictures of what you have. Send them to thegrowboss.com. And I'll finish you. <laughs> Dick party's over. I just heard your zipper go up. So. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'll, try, I'll try to take pictures. Send them to me at thegrowboss.com, thegrowboss at yahoo.com, and, uh, <clears throat> and uh, I'll get to it. Okay. So when I talk about the tomato cages, is here's tomato cages on one side, and, like, here's a trellis on the other and I just wanted to point out okay hey 410 give me one sec okay sure okay so I just wanted to point out that uh, that on the trellis you can see how much how flatter it is but the tomato cages on the right sort of encourage tallness you can also take your plant the top and instead of topping it you weave it around the metal bar so now you have like you know like the, the branch comes up the branch comes up the keyboard's working now branch comes up you, this will turn into a new top you take your top you wrap it around the trellis bar and it becomes another top so now you got two tops coming up plus whatever branch wrapped around the metal bar will become a new top tomato cages don't do the same thing that trellis netting does and in your situation in a tent I would not be tomato caging it. Sword fights. Oh, Beazle. Hey, Beazle, I just wanted to say thank you so much for the donation. I wanted to... T oh, I got 410 on the call. Oh, Candy, Mueller, good job. Okay. Um, I, I, will, I would like to uh, bring up one more time. Let me show you. We got... Uh, I'm almost there, 410. 41, yeah, 410. I'm almost there. I just wanted to show up, show you guys that. Um, okay, so I got a couple of this. Oh, this. I wanted to show you. Uh, Scott. 
because this is this is Scott. Um, I want to talk about just to remind you guys that I'm matching your donations. This is Scott, uh, super funny guy, Scott. Let me. Uh, um, here's some pictures of Scott, right? So, okay. So that was Scott. Um, I'll tell you what the problem is. The problem is, oh, you know what? This guy's. Uh, the problem is, I don't want ever. Okay. So. This guy, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, no, can't do it like that, because now you can't see that picture, but I can do this, open it like that, and then I can show you on the internet, boom, there he is, I mean, you can see his production in the background, he's making stuff, he's doing stuff, he's got that big work area with the hoses up here, I mean, here's a guy who's got some employees, he's smiling, they've got this product behind it, this is uh, Nectar of the Gods, so... I'm telling you that this guy got hurt. I posted up his, I posted up his, uh, um, I posted up his, aha, uh, Anthony sent an email. I broke the tap root on my Gorilla Glue number four that just got out of a paper towel. What do I do now? I'll tell you what you do. Don't bother, don't bother putting your, uh, starts in paper towels. What are you doing? What are you? Why do you put it? It's a fucking plant, man. They're going to be five months old. Why is it in a paper towel? You tried too hard. Okay, I just put up a trellis as well, but I'm making this my mother room. So, is this... I'm trying to figure out who the dude who just called is. Um, ah, is this... Uh, I don't even know. Okay, so, uh, car guy, if the... I think this... No, because these aren't LEDs. All right. So car guy, car salesman guy, just make sure that you uh, you call me back. All right, so listen, I'm matching donations. I've got three or four at 20 bucks already. So at the end of today's show, I'll match whatever donations. Just send me your email and I'll double you guys up. I already donated, I'm gonna double you guys up too because, well, I don't ever ask you guys for stuff. So if you like the, if you like the show, if you like the books, you already have the books and you wanna do something to support the show, I'm suggesting that you guys hit up this link, do this. In fact, I'm going to post it again right now just because I like the idea of doing stuff inside our community. I mean, that's what you guys want, right? Like, you guys like you guys tell me, like, oh, it's cannabis, it's, it's a community thing. And so I just want to point out that it's only a community thing if you guys make it a community. Okay. Oh yeah, Barnes is back. Donations help pay hospital. Listen, you don't need to worry about what this guy's going to use the money for. You don't need to even think about it. This guy got hurt so bad that that we won't cover it. All we're doing is helping. And even if he spent it, <coughs> even if he spent it combating the addiction for the pills from the pain that he got hurt. Listen, you don't even need to ask. You just let this one go. It's 20 bucks. Let this one go. I did. I tried to copy and paste. I tried to copy and paste it. So there. Oh, here we go. Let's see. I thought I just did it. So let's paste. Yeah, here it is. Oh, there we go. Let's post it again. So there we go. All right. So just send me the email. I'll double it up. Okay. Oh, 410. Before I figure out the last call, what can I do for you? Oh, so I just have a really simple question. First of all, um, I think to you, I finally killed it. Like with my second harvest, I got almost what I wanted. I got like 11 ounces in a 4x4 with a 600 watt HPS. And I think I just need to add more plants. But my problem is like, it's difficult for me to water them being that it's like literally hard for me to get into the middle of the canopy like when I'm when they get really big and stuff so how like what is your best strategy for if I'm gonna have to add more plants I assume it's gonna be more difficult and it's like how do I get into the middle of my canopy without just like pouring water all over buds Blam! You need one of these things. This is a water wand. Now granted, this is like a five foot water wand. 
but all you need is just a little metal pole right because for your from your perspective here is a uh, So here is a video where the Bushmaster, I think uh, this one here is where I show you, let me see, I'm going to, um, he's, I got, I got like just the thing I think you want to see. Let me, uh, no, I don't think that's, uh, that's it. These are chores. Let me take a look at this. So, I, th I I'll just, I mean, that's the product, but I'm just going to show you what it looks like. Okay. So, this is the product. Here, oh, now I got to post it up. Let's do, get rid of this. Okay. So, uh, internet. So, the here, right? I mean, this is a, like a 10 by 20 room. Oh, dear. the pigs. <laughs> I just love this video. Oh, my gosh. So these are, uh, look, there it is. I mean, that's, that's really what you're talking about here is, is right in here is watering plants like this with that thing that I just showed you. Now, you don't need... You don't need as big a one, but, you know, yeah, it's just a water Yeah, five line. feet would definitely be kind of hard to... Okay, cool. That's I mean, pretty much the answer to my problems, I guess. Yeah, just a metal stick water wand, so you can just poke it in there and uh, and get it wet. I mean, how big is the bucket? Oh, my dog. Uh, how big is the watering bucket? Yeah. Uh, five gallons. Okay. So, like, you're watering, like, once a week, you know what I mean? Once every five days or something. So, yeah, yeah it's not that bad. Pretty much. Yeah, you'll just reach in there and get it. So, I mean, that's all you're going to do. It's nothing. I don't think it's really anything more than uh, for you than just one of these uh, watering wands. And usually what you guys end up doing is you end up running in, like, a little circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And boom, you go on to the next one. Two, three, four. Six, seven, oh, I do have a tip too for for trimming. For anybody who's who's doing this, like I am new. I last on well, my first grow, I trimmed everything wet, right? Like as soon as I cut the plants down, I didn't cut the branches or anything, but I trimmed all the leaves off and kind of got them looking like just bud right away. And I would suggest for everybody to do that because I didn't do that this time because I wanted to experiment and see what would happen if I just let everything dry. And it is so much more difficult and so much more of a pain in the ass to trim plants that are dry than it is to just trim them on day one. So I just throw that out there. I've spent like three fucking hours doing like one goddamn plant yesterday. It was really annoying. So just that's a thing. <laughs> All right. All right. Everyone appreciates that tip. Thank you. All right. I appreciate that call. Um, hey, who? I think is Audi. I think maybe... Uh, Audi is Audi the bah hey, listen car guy send me an email that says I am the car guy because I got so many emails during this show I, I don't really know which one you are okay Nate C wanted me to Nate wanted me to go over aggressive bug control I didn't put in place a protocol and lost both flowering tents so starting over bah um, I would like to say who who just Somebody uh, kicked down 20 bucks. Um, David, you just sent over 20 bucks. Just go ahead and uh, just, they send you, PayPal sends you a receipt. Just send it over to me. That makes four $20 donations. I'm going for one more $20 donation. And what we were talking about here is, uh, is uh, Scott from Nectar of the Gods got hurt and I'm matching donations. So five, 10, up to 20, I'm suggesting 20. You can do less, five bucks. All I'm suggesting is I don't charge for my videos. Do something for this guy instead of me today. Thank you so much. All right, five, five, nine, you got a question. Yes, I'm a first time girl. And I was just calling for some tip. What were you calling for? 
I'm I'm a first time grower. I I was just calling for some tip. Okay. On growing. Okay, so what would you like a tip on growing? Don't put your light too close. Is that a good one? Um, yeah, that that's one that's one I wanted to know. But my plants are growing small. They're like skinny. If they're skinny, it's overwatered. It's called bean stalking. So here's a tip. Don't overwater. <laughs> All right. <coughs> um, so, and I got I got one more question. I was trying to um make them flower, but I don't know how to do it real good. So that's that's the main question I wanted to call for. Okay. So here's a tip. I listen, I totally appreciate the call, but here's another tip by the Grow Book and Equipment Guide. This says, watch my videos because there is no way I'm going to be able to give you all the information you need today. I mean, how would I possibly do that? You know, on a phone call, first time grower, there are so many, there are so many things to, ah, Listen, John, I totally appreciate the donation. I will double that one up. Um, that makes five donations now. Hubba Bubba, which is, yeah, Hubba Bubba, there's one. That makes six donations. I was shooting for five between yesterday and today. I'm at six, I'm matching all donations for uh, for Scott from, oh, okay, so Audie is, Audie is the California guy. So let me do this, I'm gonna make a new folder. Um, Fortunately, fortunately, what he did was he put, um, okay, so this is new folder. Every picture was in its own <clears throat> email. So give me one sec here. Everybody smoke a bowl, take a moment, do whatever it is you have to do because I have to uh, grab all these pictures, put them in a 253. You're going to have to call me back. It's too much concentrating. Too much concentrating. Got to download all these pictures. Then we got to put them in a folder. So I can show you guys. All right. But we got some good pictures. Audis car guy. Oh, man. That's not what I wanted to do. What I wanted to do was download this picture. Perfect. Okay. Everybody smoke a bowl. It's going to take me a minute. I got this. I'm on top of it. See how close I was. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know how much you guys love the music. 253, you're gonna have to call me back. Got so much on the plate. Okay, car guy. More pictures. I'm got this. Car guy. I got your pictures. Oh, I got another donation. I think I'm up to seven. Sweet. I totally appreciate that. Scott appreciates that. Okay, so Brandon. Oh, Brandon, you are knocking it out of the park. You're, uh, that's something different. Okay. Ooh, that's a brutal picture. Okay. Now, I think we'll go ahead and do this. Um, go ahead. Two, five, three. You're going to have to wait. There's nothing you can do because we're in the middle of something. Two, five, three. Okay. Um, let's see. Got my mic. That's good. I'll put this in this folder. Okay. Two, five, three. Two, five, three. You win. What can I do for you, sir? Yes. Hi. Uh, I just had a quick question. Um, second time grower. And I was just curious when you think it's a good idea to start adding uh, nutrients and other like cow mag and stuff to your, do you still do it during seedling or should I wait till vegetation stage? Okay, so the obvious answer is you feed when they need it. So the question I think you're asking me is how do you determine when they need it 
and on what schedule. And there's no way you can do this in two grows. What you can do is you can continue to get closer. So how much light do you have in flower? Uh, right now I probably have about, I just have a 400 watt HPS uh, light about uh, a foot above, or no, a foot and a half above one plant right now. Okay, so let's just be clear. If you have a 400 watt light that's one foot away from the plant, you must have a supersized hood and you should be at the last week of flower. Because if you're at 100% light, you should be at 100% plant. So I would say that if you had a 400 watt light, you would be in a, in a two by four space. You would finish with your light two and a half, three feet away at the end. That would mean okay. you, have, you have two by four space, two feet deep. You have 16 cubic feet of bud. What does your plant look like? Uh, right now, it's uh, I just I'm in the second week of flower. It's uh, my so OG Kush strain. It looks kind of short. How could you possibly be at so much light? You're asking me about nutrients, but the reality is nutrients are irrelevant for you. Your plant's dead because you killed it with too much light. It's not possible that it's anything else. Okay. Well, okay, so so uh, would it, is it still possible to save it then by adding less light to it? Okay, so by because it it doesn't have any, it's still really green, so it's not any change, not any yellow. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's being burned at all. Plants die green, so it could be dead. And but the other part is, you have to have if you have a six inch trellis square and you have a two by four space, um, that's four squares by eight squares. You have to have thirty two tops or anywhere more than twenty four. How many one foot tops do you have? Uh, the, this plant has, looks one, two, six on this plant. And they're one foot tall? Um, three of them are over one foot tall. And the other three look like they're right at that one foot mark. Okay, so you've got six one foot tall tops when you should have 24 that means you have okay. that means instead of 400 watts you should have 100 watts if you have 100 watts you would be using that t5 right there that four foot that two foot four bulb that's 100 watts that will cover six tops this tall you're at 400 okay watts at so i got way foot. too much light way too much light <laughs> all right well thank you i appreciate that you see where i'm going with this so i just want you to say can you save yes, a plant you really can't save a plant that's in flower it's like a old person with a busted hip it's tough to heal you're in flower the plant's dying you put a sick plant listen you didn't just suddenly turn it up to 400 watts it was been at 400 for a while and you didn't suddenly just lower it to one foot. So you've been killing this plant for quite a while. That's why when I say it's dead and you should start over, um, um, yes. So Carrie at custom brushers, check this out. You got a hundred dollar donation. Suddenly you blew my curve and I should have put a limit on it. That's okay. I'll work out what this is and I'll thank you, Carrie. I mean, that's what, there you go. Oh, this is the thank you. I think this is the thank you for my donation. I'll have to look at this. Is this my donation to Carrie? Oh, oh no, no, this is from Carrie. I'm up to 200 bucks. So we got $200 worth of donations. I got my one plus this two and I will put another 200 up. So we're at $500. For this guy it's just one of those community things i just i totally appreciate that um okay carrie oh it was you did donate a hundred sweet okay um you know what carrie you also have um you know what i'm gonna take a moment okay listen 253 i appreciate the call 416 i'm not gonna take this call because i'd like to um 
I'd like to take all these pictures for a moment, put them together, and work on the LED thing. So this was Hotline Picks. Damn, what was this guy's? It was, I didn't call him Car Guy. What did I call him? Um. Oh, I think I know. It was Audi. Is this? Nope. Oh, this may have been him from earlier. Adriana and I. Okay, so I'm at. I'm going to hang off on the phone calls for a minute. Um, okay, so maybe it's... Give me one sec. Oh, okay, there's... Okay, so here's Audi Show. I'm going to... Oh, my God. You're going to want to see this picture. So, okay. That's... Let me... Let me give me one sec. I got a couple things going to coordinate. I got this picture that you're just going to want to see. So while, while I post up this picture for you to look at for a moment, um, <laughs> okay, the email says, first try. I have no earthly idea what I'm doing, but need to learn from the best. What the heck is up with Shorty? Almost two months old. Take a look at that picture for a sec. Ouch, my fucker, that's pretty bad. <laughs> Listen, Bob, I totally understand. Everybody wants to be bad. You know what I mean? Like you're ready to grow in your closet. What I'm going to suggest is that your plant is as silly as your lights. And I totally understand that you want to try to grow cannabis, but the reality is um, that plant probably needs to be watered once a month. Those lights definitely need to be in some other space that has nothing to do with growing cannabis. So does everybody do too much light? Hell yes. Did you do too much light? Hell yes. And you have, do you have no earthly idea what you're doing like in the email? Hell yes. So my question, Bob, is are you serious about growing? Because when you come to my store as a customer and you say you're going to experiment, okay, I hear failure. This is not Thomas Edison figuring out 2,000 ways not to make a light bulb. Oh, 989, I got this, I don't, I got this. You can just listen. Um, this is not you trying to invent something new. When you come in and say you're going to experiment, I hear failure. You're ringing with hopes and dreams and I'm gonna sell you some shit for your hopes and dreams. Hopefully, you buy a lot of stuff. So, um, uh, I think I got one more picture here from uh, Car Guy. So, I'll just grab this picture, put it in uh, this folder, put this one. Okay, give me one sec. Put this one in. In fact, there we go. Just quit Skype. That's what. That's the trick. So, I'll just quit Skype. Okay, so I think I already have, so skip this file. So I've got Audi. I just had, oh, dude, that bra picture is just spectacular. I'll keep that, I mean, that, that, that light picture is just spectacular. So here's Scott, okay. So this is Audi, this is, now we're gonna open up, uh, this is Car Guy. Okay, streaming, Car Guy. Okay, this is, it takes a little bit of work here for me to do this, because when the pictures come in, they're big. So, I got to just reduce the size of the picture. I just got to figure out what size to reduce it to. There we go. Boom. Save. Okay. So, open this one. Open. Save. 
let's just take a look at some of these plants. And they're all going to be different. Ouch! Okay. So just open the next one then. That's a duplicate. So you sent me a couple duplicates. There we go. Nope. Yeah. So prepared. Great picture. Alright. Oh, that's not going to work. Okay, so let's open up this one next. Not, not as bad as I'm, I'm, I'm wondering about why you're not getting a, as much as you say because like the plant uh, that's part of it I can see the floor beneath it um, what's this one okay so um, let's see give me one more sec here Oh, can't do it like that. Okay. Ah, I don't know the one. I think this is, is this the one. Okay, so let's start with. Uh, sorry, give me one more. So I just got to get the pictures organized, or I'm never going to figure out, and I'm never going to be able to show you <clears throat> what they look like. And you guys want to see the pictures. I want to see the pictures. Because I'm surprised at the results based on the initial and the initial views of this picture. But that's why they don't tell you the results of your of your scans until they actually look at it. Because, you know. Okay, so let's open up file open one. Okay, so I can toss two. Boom. Okay, those are little plants that are very dark green. And that's a lot of light. Okay. Um, next one. Okay, those plants are packed together. And what I see is a tomato cage that's way bigger than the plant it belongs in. And then when I look at... When I look at this video let's see that shows this one here that shows I mean these are the trellis cages on the right see the 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 tomato cages on the right I mean that's here's a close up of those plants I mean the plants are coming out the top of the tomato cage so you're not using the tomato cage properly what I'd like to point out is that in this picture, those lights are really far away and those plants are really big. And then when we come back to your picture, the, the, the plants are these little tiny, these little tiny plants, even though the legs are so big. See how long those legs are? When we look at this picture, wait, I'll show you. When we look at this video, I'm trying to show you under the plant. I have something where I show you under the plant. But one of the things that I always talk to you guys about is the legs. And the legs of the plant are what are how big you have to grow it to strip it down to see like even right here ah oh do oh. oh my god that's so much better <laughs> okay so anyway so i posted up this video um i've got this one over here oh no no i don't want to do that what i want to do is this video manager what I want to do is show you uh, old navy I think it is no old 
old fart grower, garden rescue, old fart grower. This one, this is, this is this, and this is old Navy garden rescue. Okay. So this video here, just look at the legs on that. Look at how much leg is down here. That's crazy. Plants are too tall. And then, who's that guy? My favorite person ever. <laughs> it's me. So I just would like to point out to you guys that when you look at these plants, like look at all those legs. Oh my God. Look at, and that's because, whoa, look at all those legs. That's because there was, this, this veg went long. He's a good grower, but this veg went long. So you see all this leg here at the bottom, right down here. Imagine all of this up here, all of this plant. If this part right here was half as long, that plant would be eight inches shorter. You would be further from the light. Okay. <laughs> That's a big deal. Now, here we have a lot of leg and we don't even have as much canopy and it's going into flower. So we, we already start to see a couple of these problems. All right, so this was, hang on, let me just make sure. So I'm not, that was three. So I can delete four, open up five, switch to blam. Okay. Is this, are these tomato cages? They don't really look like, okay. Okay, uh, just just to start off, we're already seeing what looks like leaf curl. Um, okay, I don't particularly see tomato cages um, on them, but what is immediately obvious, and there it is, bam! Look at those hot spots. When I tell you LEDs, fuck. When I tell you LEDs are intense. Like, you know what? Like, I'm even do this. I'll even do this. I'll, I'll even. I mean, there's. Also, I see. You said four by eight, but I see these two lights. You know, somebody in the. I think it was. Uh, uh, one of, Somebody pretty. Somebody pretty smart early. One of the usuals. I don't, one of the. Like, one of the crew. One of the girl boss crew, like Paul or. Cooper or one of you guys from Clones to Trichomes earlier said it's uh, 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 the light thing. Oh, you said uh, Mars LEDs. And I was like, fuck, it doesn't even matter. But these look like real LEDs. But look at that hot spot. I mean, like, you guys tell me, how much brighter is that? Do you think, like, literally, do you think, like, this is, like, You know what I mean? Like, do you think this is like 10 times brighter? Like, you tell me. I mean, like, that's, I mean, that could, from, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't, I know you guys all talk about PAR, and I don't give a fuck. I don't care at all about Spectrum or PAR or anything else, any of that shit. Because, frankly, if you're, yeah, <laughs> oh, you're like, ah. Bah! Right? So I don't care about, you know, so that's all I'm saying. So here is, when we look at this picture, you tell me. Um, okay, so a video I learned from Wild Forest, some, oh, something, something, like, okay. So, um, look at that. How much brighter is that? And then... Given the opportunity, I would appreciate it if you, of course, I'm just, I'm going to finish up this show reminding you guys, this dude, I have it posted up, got hurt, part of the community, we've been talking about it all show all weekend, like, I'm double you guys up on your donations for the show, and, uh, I mean, there it is, like, there you go, for the, until the end of the show, I'll, you know, I'll double you guys up, if you send me an email later today, I mean, I'm not going to argue with it. I'll match your guys' donations. I've been suggesting 20. I got five people at 20 and one at 100. So we're at $400 for this guy between yesterday's show and today. And this is the Nectar of the Gods guy. 
he sells one of the nutrients in our community. Okay, so um, this one here. All right, so let's continue on. Now here's a side shot of this. This is plant. Okay, hang on one sec. This is plant. Um, okay, so I can delete this one. Cancel. Okay. The canopy is looking rough. When we talk about like your yield, like it's it is really purple in there, right? You can see how in terms of the entire canopy that you've got them really crowded together. You definitely should have pulled this into a trellis like this and had it more controlled because now that I'm saying it, you and I both know that everything from ya to ya should not be the. No, 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 you ya, me the. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to point out to you that we had this discussion back here with this crop. And this was Thomas, who I just want to point out sent me this finishing this week oh my god we have like this guy's been sending me the pictures um you know for all i know this guy could actually be barnes is back no 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 barnes back someone else I, anyway look at that and if you remember the question that he gave me was this this was the picture that he showed me and what was my observation my observation was what about this whole section right in here and what about this stuff right here and what about these trellis squares right now and now and now and now oh and now and now what about all those holes with no tops so what did this guy do went ahead and added three more plants <laughs> and all didn't change the light didn't change the food didn't change anything. Just put three more plants right down that center row right there. And because he did that, when he finished, this is what it looks like when you do a flyover. Oh, and mackerel. So, when I talk about volume of canopy, you have to understand that this just doesn't look like uh sorry uh this, you know what i mean that looks like this like the other guy added 30 percent more canopy but the other benefit that happens when you add more canopy is that the light decreases if you have twice the amount of leaves they are getting half the light right same light twice the tires you're getting twice the drag on your vehicle if you take the same amount of gas and divide it in half into two cars, you're getting twice the drag. Both cars' mileages are still 30 miles a gallon, but you're getting twice the drag. So, blah, blah, blah. you see what I'm saying? There's some math to it. So, I'm just suggesting that this is this is the relationship between them. So, when we look at Okay. The picture is moderate. Moderate to poor. Let me let me let me quantify that. This is moderate to poor. Hang on one sec. Um watch. Okay, I want you to see Um Angie Sword, I got gotcha. you. I got it. Thank you so much. Um, I am on that. Okay. Um, in terms of, so let me show you this. Let me do this. Um, earlier, um, we wouldn't have had this. We would have had more solid flowers Watch at this. the top. But they kept the bottom nice, stripped nice and clean. Um, here's something that's kind of interesting. Look down here. This is called trenching. See how this part of the Grodan cube is sticking above the soil? This wasn't buried far enough. You can see the roots are exposed. And as you water, this part here keeps keeps getting, you know, wore down and the roots keep getting exposed. That's called trenching. You always want to want to bury those things as deep as possible. Like over here, 
you can see that this one's still covered up. Um, this one back here, you can see is exposed. Okay, trenching's a thing. Okay, listen. I'm supposed to remind you guys to uh, put some thumbs up on the video. Don't forget, you see my advertisers here in the top left corner. You see Mondi and the green pad. You see in my magic mirror, I see Clone X. You know what I'm saying? Like Turbo Clone. These are the products you guys see in your local hydro store and they work. Hydroponics. Yeah, thank you for the call. I lost my mic. I think uh, I think I actually caught it pretty quick. Um, okay, I think I got it. Mike Boss. Okay. Gah, so many details. You know what I mean? I appreciate the call. Thanks, bro. Okay. I'm trying to picture what this uh, what this. Uh, you know what I mean? Like 12 plants, he said. I'm looking at two hot spots. So this is, the plants look okay. I think they could have been moved into a trellis and lowered. But like, you know, you look down here and the leaves look okay. Mike, oh, this dude's got a, dude, this dude's got a Mike emoji. Oh my God, so embarrassing. Okay, Mike emoji. All right. Um, you look at the top leaves and I'm not, I'm not too, I'm feeling good about the top leaves, but I'd like to point out that these top leaves off to the side look a little better than the leaves down the path of the light mover. I'm really trying to work out like, uh, there seems to be like how much floor space is really covered because okay so here's plants too but these are different plants these ones are in flower because we can see this but look at how much floor space there's a fan there like i would never say do that fan like that the fan would always have to be on uh like you'd screw it to the post in the tent or something um that's a hell of a thing so He's got in flower, not enough, not enough plant in there. Ooh. 
the canopy would be far better served by being all of this should be gone and frankly this looks like overwatering uh, nonsense down here uh, we know the top should all of this should have been moved into this area all of this should have been moved into this area you can see how tightly packed the pots are together um, yeah like it's close you know what I mean like and, and again when I say LEDs are 100% failure rate I don't mean that I don't mean that the LEDs necessarily kill your plant I just mean it's really hard to get everything right the first time and the more details you add the harder it is for instance I love those videos where you come out of the car lot with your new high horsepower car and you do that thing where you go around the corner with cold tires and you're making a left back tire slides out so what do you do you over correct you correct right you're gonna turn into the spin but then you lift your foot off the gas so the back end hooks up whips around and now you're facing the other way and then whoop you pull it the other way and then you spin into oncoming traffic oh, I love those videos Oh, love them love them love those videos where your dumbass spins into traffic because you don't understand how the tires work I hate it when it happens to when it happens to Paul Walker because they drive a, a car that came off the auction or something that they bought with 10 year old tires on it going super fast same other end of it but you got to work within the limitations of your system so here you sir next time will not water as you sir next time will not will not water as much and and I, I don't even I'm not even gonna comment on the nutrients because it doesn't even look like that's the problem even though I know some of you are gonna say like right here you can see the burn but listen it could be burning the plant because the plant sucks so best thing for you to do is decrease the frequency of your waterings a couple episodes back, I went through all the different pot sizes and the transplanting from the ones to the four, the ones to the threes, to the fives, to the sevens, to the tens. Watch that video. And he's back. That's awesome. Sound check. Um, all right. So that's sort of where the things are going to pull together for you. You're going to lower the plant. And you notice none of the things that I said had anything to do with the light or the tent or anything like that I'm just giving you some finesse and that's really the important thing here because for all I know if you decrease sorry if you decrease the light um sorry lower the plant move it further away if you so decrease the light increase the canopy so it's even less light um, you see how tight those LED beams were I understand why you have them like this make sure your plants are using the whole tent don't use four by six on a four by eight tent that fan is so cold I'm too cold my bald heads too cold in the uh... um. I should check Nuremberg crashes. Oh, I love uh, I love that. Um, you would have veg till the stalk was bigger. I'm not sure what the stalk being bigger has to do with with anything relative. That's like saying I don't shift until the air in my car gets cold. <laughs> what does that even mean? So, I think the LED guy. I think he's getting a crappy yield because I think that his plants are crappy I think that his plants are crappy and I think they're really close to being good so my observation here is make sure you fill up the whole four by oh so you know what let's uh we'll go back to nope we want this we want I think I want this this was the original thing that I started off with so the problem is 
when we look back at this picture, after looking at his pictures, the problem that we're going to run into is what? Even if he put the 600 watt in that 4x4 for his veg, that would be the right amount of light. But you saw the two spot intensity. Those LEDs on that mover were literally like two suns hot. Oh my God, it's so hot. It's literally two suns hot moving back and forth. And so I tell you guys, you don't necessarily have to move the light to the end because there's a little bit of an angle in terms of the light dissipation. But with LEDs, it's a lot narrower than with an HID with a hood and an angle like this. So, you know, here's a guy with his lights too close. But what actually happened was he overgrew the space. He's not getting the yield because he overwatered the plant. I don't even think it's necessarily a too much light problem. I'm going to suggest that by overwatering the plant, it got bushy, took too long to get that bushy. Then he put too many of them together. Then he put <coughs> what possibly could be the right amount of light over the space but he let the plants get too close by not trellising them. So he had the right vehicle for the race. He had the right products. He failed to interpret. Ever drive with one of those guys who, uh, who accelerates to 70 and then decelerates to 64 and then accelerates to 70 and then like you're driving on the freeway and not only are you like rocking up and down from the freeway, but you're like, and I'm just saying that, it, it, that you got those cars that give you the green light to shift, but that's green lights based on mileage. You may be on an on-ramp where it says green light, green light, green light, because you're at 4,500 before you shift into the next gear because you need more power. All I'm suggesting is that there are several ways to drive the same equipment. And he was driving it like one of your friends that's like, Aah. oh my God. Yeah, full gas, full brake. Yes, and yes, there are stupid questions. And I'll tell you, not only are there stupid questions, there are stupid comments. Um, we all, I'm guilty. You just blurt something out. And you're like, you know what? I should be listening to someone. And here I am talking. Ah, that was a big problem for me. <laughs> Barnes back. I appreciate the props. Thank you. A little testimonial. Um, Mark. Okay. So fundraiser here is, uh, let me just, uh, this is a uh, Scott fundraiser. Fuck. It won't. But I'm, you know, I'm just going to get USB. I'm just going to connect this. I'm, I can't because I've got like 11 USB things plugged into this computer. I don't think I have enough left for the other one. So this is, I can't even, okay, there you go. Do this. I'm matching the donations for Scott. Oh, listen and silent have the same letters. Dude, that's, uh, that's like that two ears, one mouth thing. That's really clever. Um, swag, s swag reculturalist, swag, ba -ba 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 I think that's a good comment. Woo, it's 1040. So much going on on Sunday. Oh, I forgot. I've been, I'm trying to be so much more user friendly. Oh, I hope your guys Sunday is going great. That's pretty user friendly. There you go. There's more uh, cannabis in the video. Weekly deal, son of a bitch. Okay, so, so let's do this. Um, uh, you guys, oh, no, 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 no. This one, this one, this one. You guys, okay. Um, okay, so check this out. This is right. demo station. Okay, so. Check, check, 
check mics on. All right, so I had somebody come in. I had somebody come in yesterday while Bolivia was here. Nope, it wasn't Bolivia. While, uh, well, Borneo wasn't Borneo. <sighs> anyway, so while that guy was here, I had another couple come in locally who, uh, who one wanted to start growing. They caught my videos and, uh, and they were like, oh shit. So they came in to talk to me. So I got, this guy was like, he's ready to grow. Like his wife, straight up the regular female. Why are we doing so much? So this guy comes in and he bought on, on a deal. Yeah, just the nicest couple. He bought on a deal. Oh, just love that. So let's see, let's, he bought these on a deal. I traded them a bunch of equipment. So, woo, get rid of that. Okay, what else we got? That's a 100%. Let's turn that down. Oh yeah, I got a couple of these with remotes. Just love, I love LED lights. I mean, they're like, you know, they're super trippy. I love LED lights. So anyway, these are, I got a couple of kind LEDs that, uh, whew, from some cus from a customer. I got it on a trade, so it, it turned out, so I'm selling those two, I got two of those, and access to a couple of more LEDs, so I'm selling those for 1100 bucks cash. I could do them as low as a thousand, depends on what else you buy, what else you buy. So I, those are, and they come with the remote. I also have those couple of LEDs that I bought last week, which was the, uh, Kind 750. I got a couple of those. Dude, I got a couple of Kind 750s you can have for 900 bucks. You know what? I will. Let's. Kind LED K5 1000. Blam! What you know? Search by price. So. There it is, XL1000. That's what I got for 1100 bucks in my store. Um, listen, if you've watched this and you come in and you know, I'll match that price. I'll match the price if you just buy one. But you gotta bring me cash. So you're gonna give me 880, 883. There you go. Um, and they're nice, they come with the remote. Um, here you go, new, I mean, new, they're 1550. And these ones, I mean, these ones are just, they literally bought this batch, just like I bought those couple from that other guy last week. And they bought this batch and then they come in and they're like, hey, can you help us grow? Because we've been watching your videos. And I said, sure. And I start talking about these lights and then they start telling me about the lights that they already have. And I'm like, oh, well, you're gonna have that choice to make. Did you wanna grow? Or did you wanna play with the lights that you already have? So they ended up taking the same system. They ended up taking this system. Uh, four by four, four by eight. Uh, we did, I don't know what lights they're gonna put in. They took everything but the lights. So I traded them for a couple of LEDs, but they took, they had a four by a tent. So I got a four by four for me. Um, we did CO2 tanks and media and the buckets and we set up pretty much everything for them to go home and set up the space before they choose which lights. But we already know what choice of lights, I mean, what choice of lights they're gonna make because uh, you've seen me do this before. Um, thought I had a picture. Anyway, you know if it's a, uh, if it's a four by eight, you got two four by fours, you're either gonna put two 600s or a thousand on a mover. 
and that K1000 can go on a mover, but that is heavy. And you're gonna have to buy the light rail heavy duty trolley wheels, and you're gonna have to buy a heavy duty gorilla tent. Because if you're gonna hang the K1000, it's gonna bend that bar. You'll have to reinforce the support bar for that LED. I mean, it's dimmable, so it's spectacular, it works. And you'll get your 1000 watt light spread over a four by eight area, but it won't be two feet away. And that's a thousand watt light. It's gonna be four feet away. So you're gonna grow on the floor, control the canopy. You're gonna go into flower at four feet away. You'll finish at three feet away. But you see the hot spot on those pictures that I've been showing you. All right. Don't forget to like the channel. I'm the Grow Boss. You should be clicking likes. I should be paying more attention to that. Uh, 350 grams is a good yield from 400 watts. So 400 watts is eight ounces. There's 28 grams in now, so eight times 30 is 240. So 230, so yeah, I mean, you killed it. You got like 13 ounces. You got almost a pound from 400 watt light. Good fucking job. <coughs> Intin para, good job. Um, Keith, Scott was somehow hit in the face with a log while working on his farm. Oh yeah. Listen, the guy got hurt. The guy got hurt bad. Frankly, like, I didn't want to show the pictures and I don't want to get into the details of it. Uh, you can look if it interests you. I personally, I've seen so much of it. I've seen so much pain of it. I've seen so many people get transported to the hospital. I've transported so many people. I've seen so much pain that uh, the, the details, the details don't interest me anymore. So, I would like to see you guys donate something if you get the chance. Um, I posted up the link for Scott. This is the, sorry, this is the uh, Nectar of the Gods guy. I'm just saying he's in the community. I really never even asked you guys for anything before. I post up my videos. I get the vendors to pay. It. I don't monetize them on YouTube. Oh yeah, totally. So that was just my observation. You know, if you bought the books or anything else, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't have a subscription-based channel. This time, do something for this guy, and I'll match you guys. So I'm up to, we're up to $500 at the end of the show, um, and I'll match you guys to the end of the day. You donate the money, $5, $10, $20, $20 or $100, too. And uh, email, me the, email me your receipt, and I will match it. And, of course, I will show you next week just because... You know, I matched it. You guys should know. It isn't. You know what I mean? Like, all right, watch this for one sec. It's happening in here because the plants are starting to get too close. Now, of course, these will be trellised or pulled down lower into the into the tomato cages. But it's a real concern because there's still five weeks to go and the canopy is still growing. However, when you go from veg into flower, the important thing to remember is that you need one top in every hole. Then the next consideration is how much top do you need in every hole? Because these lights and double end lights have a lot of penetration. LED has even more penetration, but T5s and C Crazy. Okay, so I turned off Skype, which would explain why no one's been calling. Um, so I've got 10 minutes before the store is supposed to open. If I have more time to spend with you, I'll spend it with you until a customer comes in. So Skype's back up because I got high and forgot I was on Skype. Um, clearly, I'm having remote issues between my keyboard and this computer. Like, here's my green pad, little thing that's supposed to go up in front of, like on the shelf behind my desk. Oh, okay, so I got a couple things to update you on. Let's, uh, let's take a look at, that's Bud, but I will show
Grow boss, grow boss. Son of a bitch, right? Good morning. Good morning, like son of a I bitch can hear you. the equipment. <laughs> okay, listen, I'm working on the show. Like, I got the other videos done. I got the trade show in Portland done. I got a lot of time off. I don't, I mean, even I replaced it with another one. So, I'll solve the keyboard problem. I'll solve the mic. I'll get some new music on the intro. I promise it's all coming. I've got two more episodes of uh, the Bushmaster 99 Plants to put up and how it ended. I just have a couple more details, like the store is done. Oh, I just have a couple more details. So, I promise I'm working out the kinks. I, I really want to do Project Grow House too. I really do. So, all right. So, 781, what can I do for you? Good morning. How you doing, Grow Boss? I am coming up on the end of two hours. What's going on with you? Well, I am trying to get some advice. Okay. I've been listening to your show. I heard you say a couple times and in your book, if you're going to grow for yourself, to go ahead and use T5s, and that's what I ended up doing. I, I made the mistake initially of having these overpowered LEDs. I traded. I got myself a 12-bulb, 4-foot T5, and I also traded some clones that I had. They only had a 16-bulb, 4-foot T5. I have a 4x4 tent and a 4x8 tent. I'm currently drying my first harvest, thinking about setting up for my second. I was wondering, what do you think would be the simplest, not simplest, but the most efficient way to grow for media? I hear you say, try to use as much, as least work as possible when you're growing, as far as watering and everything goes. So I've gone through uh, all the websites and all the people talking about um, media and PWC and whatnot. I was wondering what you thought. Hello? I'm working on it. There it is. Do you have... Okay. Do you have... Tell me about your lights. You said you had one 16 bulb. What was the other one? 12 bulb, both four foot P5. Okay, so you'll put the 12 bulb in veg and the 16 bulb in flower. Yeah. Yeah, that's all. That's in your own soil. I mean, you got T5s. Listen, if you can make a 16 bulb T5 look good, you're talking about a pound every 60 days. Yeah. Right? The uh, 16 bulb in the tent only looks like it will fit on one side of yeah. the 4x8. Yeah, you'll just put it in the middle and grow in a 4x6 space. Yeah, totally. Or you'll put it off the uh, side. But you won't use the whole 4x8 space. Okay. You don't, you don't. See, the thing is, you essentially have a 600 watt light. A 600 watt light is a 4x4 space. It's not a 4x8 space. Yeah. And you wouldn't put a T5 on a mover. If you were going to put a T5 on a mover, you'd buy a real light. Like, because if you're moving it, you want more. So what we're talking about is you want less. You want less work. So. See what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, listen, I appreciate as the. As far point. as. Uh... Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Sorry, my phone was beeping. Uh, as far as watering goes, I've been considering like drip systems and oh, no. and I tried the DWC oh, and no. I was no, no. 10, 10 gallon, seven gallon buckets of, of soil and just water once a week. Wow! <laughs> if your plant was six feet tall, you'd be watering once a week in there? 10 gallon buckets. My plants right now are four feet tall. And you're in a 10? I have a seven, seven and a half foot tent. No, you're in a 10 gallon bucket at four feet tall? No, 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 I have no gallon, but the buckets right now are in, are three gallons. Okay, that's better. Because you'll take three gallons to the end of veg. All right, listen, I want to get one more call and I appreciate the call, hang on a sec. All right, hang on, I want, all right, 703. Yeah. 703, good morning. Yeah. Seven gallon bucket. 
Good morning. 703, good morning. Um, I had a quick question um, about magnesium uptake. Um, I've got a three light rotation, uh, a four by four tent, a four by six tent, and then an eight by ten room that I actually built that has plenty of light. I'm, I'm trying to keep my lights up as high as possible. I don't feel like I've got light burn going on or anything, but it seems like no matter what I do, I can't uh, get away from the purpling in the veins. Okay. So I had just got another $20 donation from GreenPad. So I think I'm up to $200 to match your guys. $200, $220 for Scott from Nectar of the Gods. So I just wanted to say I appreciate that from GreenPad. So, you know, super nice. I mean, like, that's how you make it a community. Okay. So tell me, what light do you have again? I have a 250-watt HPS in my veg. A uh, 600 watt T5 in the first side of my flower, and a thousand watt on a light mover in my eight by ten room. Okay, so a two. What does a 250 watt veg, a 600 watt 12 bulb T5 uh, start a flower, and a thousand watt finish HID have to do with each other? I don't I don't know what you what it seems to me that you have is first gear third gear and sixth gear I, I don't I mean a 250 watt HPS or a little MH bulb I'm assuming that's one thing then you go to a T5 and then you go to a thousand watt H HID is that what you're doing I go from the, when they get to about a foot and a half, I put them under the T5 and put it, dim it down to about um, 400 and leave them in there for about two weeks until they, three weeks, you know, until they get uh, through about the first week of transition. And then I put it into the thousand watt and dim it down to 75% for the first month and then turn it up to the full thousand Dude, after about. That's brilliant. That's, that's awesome. That's like, that's exactly the way that you should be using that equipment. What makes it awkward is like two veggies sometimes make it awkward, but I mean, that's so good job. Like at, you have the right lights growing buckets of soil. So for instance, you'll go from a, you have an eight week veg. You'll go from a one to a three, four week in one, four week in a three, and then you'll go to a seven or a 10. Now we can start to talk about how much water because we know the size of your plants. So you're not starting in big buckets. You're going through the bucket size just like you would go through the, just like you went through the rights. You cycle through the buckets just like you cycle through the lights, right? Yep, starting in solo cups, then up to a gallon, then up to a three gallon, and then I'm doing into a five gallon in the, uh, once they get into the, under the thousand. Okay, I would suggest that you go from a three to a seven or a 10. You're not taking a big enough step. Okay. Here. So let's say, and this is the thing is because it's always a little bit of a, it's always a little bit of a, of, sweet, Malcolm. I, Malcolm, I appreciate the donation. I think we're up to 720s and a $100 donation. I appreciate that, Malcolm. Okay, so what, uh, what what we're talking about here is at this when you go from a one to a three you're you if you're in a one gallon bucket at the end of the one gallon bucket of four weeks in a one gallon bucket you're probably watering twice a week you might be watering three times a week but when you started in the one gallon bucket you're probably watering once a week when you go from a one to a three if you were watering three times a week you're probably going to water once a week again by the end of four more weeks in veg you're going to be watering two or three times a week. See, the thing is, is if you go from a one week water, once a week water to a three times a week water in four weeks, then you must go from a three to a seven. Because now when you go from a three, let's say you're watering three times a week, you go to a seven, you're going to be watering once a week again, but you're going to be in flower for eight weeks. So you should at least double, I would suggest a 10 or you're going to be watering a lot. And in terms of that, though, 
you literally got the lights right, the right words, the right description. You know what I mean? Like the confidence you inspire in me about the way you're doing it is much higher than I first gave a credit for for three random lights. Why? Because you're using the equipment that you have appropriately by cycling, by dimming them down, moving them further away. And I totally appreciate the level of significance that you have in the terms of the understanding of your equipment. And I think that's why I, I really don't have anything for you except maybe do a bigger bucket when you transition into flower. Okay, yeah, I, I've been watching your videos from the beginning and I got, I got like an ounce off my very first plant under, under that 250 HPS when I first started growing. So then I just started, once I saw your three light rotation, I just been slowly building my equipment and doing my ideas around what, what your videos and what you talk about on your show. But um, I, I've read, I read, or no, I heard somebody say, you know, with magnesium uptake, maybe, maybe turn your, maybe it was the guy at the hydroponic store actually. He was like, well, if you're having a magnesium problem, you know, turn, Turn a turn your pH up to like six point five. You know, even though most of the recommendations for this, I'm in the uh, advanced uh, the advanced cocoa mix that has like the peat moss, the the sunshine yellow mix is what I'm using for my medium, and they say like five point eight to six point two. No, 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 none of that matters. Listen, what's going to happen is you're going to either keep adding mag until you back the light away because there's too much light. But it's a game. If you have healthy roots, it's a game. More yeah, we'll see exactly. Yeah, I don't want to do that. So you could be at 500 ppm CalMag. That's okay too. All right, listen. I got it. Listen, I got it. Is it? The store. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. I got to end the call. I got to open up the store. I got people standing out front. I'm the grow boss. I appreciate everybody that contributed to Scott from Nectar of the Gods. It was totally the appropriate thing to do. I'll next week. I'll show you my match and the final tally. I think it was. I think you guys ended up seven at 20 and one at 100. So that's 240. So they'll 480, I will donate 240 as well. So they'll get 480 plus the 100, we're at 580. So I appreciate all that. I'm the Grow Boss. If you wanna buy my books, anything else, you can watch, you can see them here, growboss.com. I totally appreciate it. I gotta go deal with the customer. At the